America, we live in a country, if this was Guam, you would have won already. But here it is America. Well, in Guam, they don't have many exciting acts. Like I said, you know, it's from what we see and it's, we watch TV. You know, Guam can be great, but we really need to take advantage of all of the people here who want to do creative things. Build up the talent, support the talent, so we can go out now and rep Guam, not rape Guam. I think it will grow a market. It's a vital part of, of what makes a community a culture. It's a way of forming an identity. That sounds awesome. But it, 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 requires, it requires that investment investing in yourselves. You play at your cousin's shindig for free. You get paid in good vibes. Here on island, it's like, hey, my cousin, dude, he recorded a CD. Where's my, where's my CD, bro? Their work is valuable. We don't see or value it for what it's really worth. Yeah, but let's, bro, let's not quit our day job. <laughs> it's about um, coming out of your shell just to do something. We need embracing those other things that, that make us who we are. We do have something unique to offer. Automatically, people are thinking, hey, if I put myself on YouTube, I'm going to be the next Justin Bieber. You're talking about one in a million odds. What's stopping you? They could never survive on island as artists. You're never going to make money probably until way after you're dead. <laughs> if you want to really be somebody, you got to leave. This has been around for like two years already. We just never took that leap to start it. Just keep moving forward. We can do anything here, you know? It's about doing, not this. You know what, I was thinking about what are some resources that we have on Guam that, that, are, that we have in excess that we can, we can maybe start doing something with for export. And he's like, dude, I'm so excited to hear what this is. I'm like, brown tree snake, wallets, belts, boots, shoes. <laughs>